Okay, robotic surgery, to put it simply, is the use of the surgical robot to perform a surgery via keyhole size incisions. Unlike popular belief, the robot is not automated and does not move on its own. Every single action from the robot is actually controlled by the surgeon. There are several benefits of robotic surgery compared to the traditional open or the conventional keyhole surgery or what we call the laparoscopic surgery. Open surgery offers excellent manual dexterity at the expense of a large surgical incision. In certain operations like the prostate surgery, the open approach provides limited visualization as the prostate is deep down in the pelvis. Laparoscopic surgery, however, provides a two-dimensional visualization of the operative field, but limited manual dexterity. It is like trying to perform stitching holding the needles with a pair of chopsticks rather than with your own fingers. You can imagine how difficult would that be. Robotic surgery combines the best of both worlds. This includes a magnified three-dimensional visualization of the operative field and more dexterity in the control of the surgical instruments, which is especially important in surgeries that require repair and reconstruction, like in prostate surgery. All this allows the surgeon to perform a more controlled and precise surgery, resulting in less blood loss, a shorter hospitalization stay, faster recovery, and better surgical outcomes in certain surgeries. Actually, there's no best approach and studies have shown that in the best of hands, long-term outcomes are generally equivalent across all three approaches. Let's us use an analogy. Suppose today you're driving from Singapore to Genting Highlands and you have a choice of a lorry, a manual transmission car or an automatic transmission car. How will you choose? Either of the three options will get you there eventually, although the journey may be different. A lorry is probably going to be slower and more uncomfortable. Taking the car would be much faster and more comfortable. However, a manual car is probably okay along the highway when everything is smooth sailing. But if there's a traffic jam, for example at a causeway, or you have to stop multiple times up a steep slope, it will definitely be more difficult and more tiring for the manual car driver as compared to the automatic car driver. Having said that, of course if you are a lorry driver, you'll probably be most comfortable in handling a lorry compared to a car and the lorry may be the best option for you. So, a lot also depends on the approach the surgeon is most familiar with and most comfortable with. Having said that, very few automatic car drivers ever convert back to driving a manual car. Robotic surgery is the most commonly performed for prostate cancer and occasionally for the very large non-cancerous prostate gland to relieve urinary obstruction. In general, any patients who are suitable and fit for open surgeries are candidates for robotic prostate surgeries. However, if a patient has severe lung and breathing issues or cannot tolerate a head down position due to medical reasons, they may not be suitable for robotic prostate surgeries. To perform a successful robotic surgery, there has to be at least two experienced robotic surgeons. First, a few small keyhole size incisions are made on the patient's abdomen and the robot is then deployed and docked onto the patient. The main surgeon will be seated at the console where he will control the movement of the robot remotely. Another surgeon will remain scrubbed by the patient, assisting the main surgeons with all parts of the surgery. Teamwork is exceptionally important for the success of robotic surgeries. After robotic surgery, patients are generally admitted to the general wards for observation. High dependency stay may be needed in some patients based on their medical needs. Patients should be able to drink immediately after surgery and eat the next day. They are also encouraged to get out of bed and walk the next day after surgery. Most patients are discharged 2-3 to three days after surgery with a urine tube which will be taken out in 1-2 to two weeks. For successful prostate surgery, there are various approaches available. Robotic prostate surgery can be seen as a combination of the best of open and conventional laparoscopic surgery. So if you have any prostate issue and require a prostate surgery, please speak to your urologist who will then advise you the best options available. <music>